Three months after New Jersey banned plastic bags, some stores say they're seeing an unintended consequence. They tell CBS 2's Lisa Rosner some customers are now stealing the handheld baskets instead of buying a reusable bag. The stop and shop on Hamburg Turnpike in Wayne no longer carries baskets for customers to shop with, only shopping carts. Off camera, an employee told us once New Jersey's ban on plastic and paper bags took effect May 4th, customers walked out with the baskets and drove off with them too. We found even now, months later, some shoppers still forget their reusable bag. Half the time I have all my bags in the car. It's just inconvenient when, when you, when you um, don't know if you going to stop the shop. Then you got to buy more bags, which you really don't need because you have some at home. So instead of buying another reusable one at checkout, some get creative. I'll just put my groceries straight in the in the car without any bag. If I'm just shopping for a few items, I just carry them out. In a statement, Stop and Shop says, like other retailers across the state, we have experienced theft of our handheld shopping baskets, an unintended consequence of the ban on plastic and paper bags. A rep for Whole Foods says stores have experienced issues too, but it's not removing the baskets. The New Jersey Food Food Council, which represents grocers and supermarkets, says most customers have adapted, but statewide members are seeing an uptick in customers stealing the baskets. The New Jersey Food Council says a basket like this costs about $8, but the price may have risen due to inflation. I think they're losing more money by not utilizing the plastic bags. The supermarket have to take care and they have their own security at the door. And some do stop people from exiting the store with the basket. Others make announcements reminding shoppers to bring their reusable bag. It will take time to, to, like, up to people to, to, to get it. You buy that bag and you're going to use it for a, a month or two months. Right. And it's going to save the environment. And if you wind up with one too many reusable bags, you can donate it to one of 300 food banks and pantries accepting donations. They will need them to distribute food when the plastic bag ban takes effect for them on November 4th. In Wayne, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.